My name is Sian Laspabatu Munacheng and I am from the Provincial Communication Services. I work in the Branding and Marketing Department. My name is Nassim Wadi. Uh, I'm from Security and Rest Management. I am Office of the Premier and I am a hard worker. I am Kateko Rathogwa uh, from Cooperate Management Branch Finance Unit. My name is Pelisa Kuzuayo. I work in the Office of the Premier in Internal Human Resources. My name is Maki Mashiane. I work for the Transversal Employee Health and Wellness Program within the IDS and IM um, branch. My name is Jasmine Karak. I work for the hotline team at the Office of the Premier. Well, when I was told that I was going to work during the lockdown, I panicked. To be honest, I was like, oh, Jesus, I'm going to die. I think uh, my biggest worry and my greatest fear was actually contracting um, the virus while on duty. And unfortunately, that became a reality. Never in my life that my daughter would face, I'd face a bad epidemic, like, you know. I was like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. This can you get in? The bend rambara mask. The bend is in Jen. The bend rambara is a glove. The quadrant is the desk and is a way in the rain. That's a client. The quick clean up. I think the visual already be in me in a mini. In a covet, you only farana can a honey. In my mind, I had so much like fear thinking that this pandemic means like it's gonna like maybe it is the end of the world. It's still not known at home who brought the virus home. My mom was working, I was working, my brother was working. So it's, 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 it's one thing that has stayed with me because you always ask yourself, was it that time? Did I not sanitize? Was it that time I took off my mask to cough? So yeah, it's, it's one thing that you'll never trace back to where it was contracted. Anxiety at first, not knowing what was going to happen not being sure what to do, where to go, and how to do things. Every day that I left the house, you know, I would say a short prayer for God to navigate the space that I was going into, into the unknown, and uh, faith just kept me going. And the knowledge that, you know, if we don't do it, who is supposed to? You know, we came into this work knowing that at some point, you know, things will be challenging. And this was a war, a crisis. We were in a crisis, honestly. The fact that I knew that I was helping people, that kept me motivated because I know there are people out here who really do need our help. And it's just the selflessness of Pato Pele, you know? So the fact that I was helping other people kept me going. The <laughs> Yes, but Wana Usongo Quatam Kama sorry, I'm really wow. Ecovat Oisa, Zunozongita Ore, the Quate, the Quate with Chironi, the Quate with Endone, the Quatanga Mumanga Ore. I'm going to do a Covid, Covid nineteen, I'm going to be a little child and a tea. Mararogono Shoma, Rabazi had work. Seeing the stats now that it is going down, let's adhere to the log down restrictions in order for us uh, to reduce the spread of this COVID. So let's adhere to the rules and make sure that we, we, we wear our masks every time and also sanitize ourselves and take good care of ourselves. I die to the rules, yeah. Um, when someone says, uh, Keep your distance and things like that. Uh, do it. It's because it's for your safety. My message to everybody is that COVID-19 is still there. Yes, we might be on level one, but COVID is still there. 
So we still need to sanitize, we still need to wear our mask, we still need to follow the regulations because COVID is still there. Be kind, you know, and appreciate one another because you never know when is the last time that you're actually going to be with the person because a lot of people were lost. So I just say be kind and appreciate one another. COVID is here. It's very dangerous. Um, it shouldn't be taken for granted. We should adhere to all the protocols that have been put in place by government. Sanitize, wash our hands, constantly wear our masks, and we will eventually beat this, this virus. We may be at alert level one right now, but it doesn't mean we must relax uh, because we've seen just how, you know, the virus, you know, um, you know, people have lost their lives in families, you know, not just one person, you know, left because of COVID, but it has, you know, um, ravaged our society. So it is real and it kills. And what we can do is just to play our part because what needs to change is our behavior and our perception perception that you know we think it's not there because we can't see it we've seen the results and the you know just how much people have suffered you know that have contracted the virus so we mustn't take it lightly let's make it um, make every effort wherever you are as an individual because it only starts with you if you change yourself in terms of the behavior patterns and take responsibility not just for yourself but for the people around you the people that you love and that we may fight this battle together